with all that being said, let's bring in the man with a, hopefully a decent plan. Pat Pagano, good morning, Pat. Uh, it's like a Monday. <laughs> it Well, it's worse than that because it's like a Monday and it's Tuesday, and that's what makes it worse. Well, you know, there's nothing worse than trying to train somebody and something goes wrong. <laughs> what happened? Um, we had a problem with Word. It would not... It would not paste documents. Um, so I am trying to teach uh, our new guy, Jamie, uh, you know, how to do all of this stuff. And, you know, it just uh, threw me for a loop. So um, I, I finally figured it out, but I had to, uh, you know, actually go into Windows, change configurations and all of this other stuff. But uh, it's finally working now. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, thank God the weather's nice, sunny and warm, and dry. Seventy-five to eighty today. Clear tonight, fifty-five to sixty. We go into Wednesday with a partly sunny sky. It's going to be more humid, and some thunderstorms will develop later in the day into Wednesday night, eighty to eighty-five. There'll be some scattered showers around Thursday, mid seventies. Sun and patchy clouds, mid seventies Friday. And it looks very nice Saturday with high 75 to 80. All right. Well, you know, this morning it was uh, once again 51 when I left the house. The other morning, 49. One morning it was 47. So I'm actually wearing sweatpants this morning. <laughs> it's chilly. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, I've seen people, you know, up at the lake in the morning. It was in the upper 40s as well. And uh, I see people, you know, everybody walking around shorts, you know, up there. They, um, they're not, they're not going to. Uh, I guess they're not going to give into long pants just yet. Well, you know, I, uh, you know, I don't. My furnace is off, and it's going to be off for quite a while. But when it gets down to be forty nine, you know, forty seven outside, the inside of my house, because it doesn't get that much sun during the day, uh, the inside of my house gets down into like the fifty nine, sixty degree range, and that is chilly. <laughs> I would think so. It, uh, it, it, it calls for um, starting the shower off uh, 20 minutes ahead of time and, getting the, and shutting the doors uh, to the bath bathroom so you get it nice and hot <laughs> so it's not uncomfortable. Yeah, well, I mean, let's face it, two weeks away from from the beginning of fall, I know. you realize that, right? I, I, Pat, I realize that every morning when I come in and uh, I have to have high beams on to drive to work. You know, yeah. it's, just, it's just darker and darker and darker. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but uh, that that is the name of the game. And, uh, you know, uh, the only system we are watching this week is a front, and that will come in uh, late tomorrow and move out sometime Thursday. Hurricane Larry is out there in the uh, central Atlantic. He's going to pass uh, just east of Bermuda and then turn northeast out into the Atlantic. Only thing he will do is produce some large swells here along the uh, New England coastline. So that's that. There is a disturbance in the Yucatan that could develop into a depression and affect the Gulf Coastal areas. We will continue to watch that for you closely. Yeah. Uh, after all, you know, this Friday is actually the peak of the hurricane season. Friday is. Friday is the peak. Yep. They like those apples. All right. You know, I. Uh, I, I look at all this news coverage of what happened in Pennsylvania, what happened in New Jersey, what happened in New York City, and I think about what you've been talking about since you've been on the air, whether it's 10, 12 years, whatever, is that uh, our major cities are just not prepared for what's going on now. Uh, nope. and, and folks, I know you're going to, but it is climate change, uh, that we have more extreme weather, and it happens uh, at, the, at the damnedest times. Uh, and and sooner and now it's too late to do anything about that. So now, we've got to, as a country spend billions of dollars to rebuild infrastructure uh, to to protect these cities as long as we can. Right, right. That is absolutely correct. And we have to, uh, you know, reduce the fossil fuels and everything like that right now. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. You know, even in Louisiana, where New Orleans got off pretty good from that storm but they had a million people without power once again a lot of a lot of deaths uh in in in, in the poorer parishes uh you know it's 
as a country, I don't know how much more we can sustain spending billions and billions of dollars every time a, a major storm hits. No, um, <clears throat> that's the truth. And we've said it, like you said, a long, long time. The extremes are now normal. And, you know, what can you do in New York? I mean, you've got you've got. You've got everything underground. So your sewer, basically, when the sewer overflows, what does it do? It dumps into the subway system. Right. The subway system then regurgitates it up into everything else. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's just a horrible situation. And and the people who died in, in apartments that shouldn't be in, in basements, it's, it's just, that's just, you know, a staggering, uh, I think it was 21 people. That's just a staggering toll. I mean, it's amazing. I, I listened to... Um for a while, I listened to the mayor of New York City. This was over the weekend. And I heard him say, you know, yeah, there were watches and warnings out well in advance. But, you know, um, we uh, we were not ready for that amount of rain, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why you aren't. Because you know what? The, every TV forecaster that I looked at, in uh, specifically in New York City, uh, that goes without saying the radio, Everybody was saying three to six inches locally more. Huh? Okay. Huh? You can't predict. I mean, let's face it. You cannot predict. If I said to you, Marshall, tomorrow night, there's going to be thunderstorms moving in. And I'm going to tell you, Marshall, that between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m., you're going to get 2.75 inches of rain. But you're going to get it only over... Pitchfield Mass. Yeah. It's, it's, you say, oh, isn't that a great forecast? We cannot do that, folks. Yeah. We cannot do that. You put out so, general warnings, general warnings for areas. Yeah. That is it. And it was out. The flood watches were out on Monday for Wednesday. Yeah. The National Weather Service was so far ahead with this. And uh, and now he's he's going to inaugurate new weather warnings? Um, I, 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 I don't know. People just have to. They don't listen to the regular weather. They, they make fun of them. You know, you you issue a you a weather advisory is issued. People said, "Yeah, well, the last storm missed." They forget what advisories and warnings are all about. They're not certainties. They're preparing you for the worst so you can prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's that's all they are. That's all they are. And I mean, again, everybody. If you looked at the Weather Channel, I'm talking. You know, now uh, even the Weather Channel. Was showing the, you know, the very very heavy rain over the area. I mean, I don't want to hear it. I thought, I thought the forecast was handled very well. Yep. Again, we're never going to be able to predict how many inches of rain are going to fall in what hour and where. There's just no way that's ever going to happen. And and especially now where uh, things that look inconsequential on the weather map, uh, all of a sudden in five minutes, uh, with with the way the climate is. They they explode into change into different things. It's it's exactly. just really it's everything now is you know you can forecast and you can predict ahead of time, uh, but until the events there and people have got to just stay on their toes uh, and not and not and not blow all the stuff. That's that's the problem with this country. They blew off COVID nineteen when it first starts. Uh, they blow off uh, the, the, the all the, the obvious change of weather patterns. Uh, and it's not only here, but it's across the world. People have to go back into taking these things seriously. They really do. They really, they really do. You're, you're absolutely right. You know, and, in, the, in um, the Midwest, when 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 tornado warnings are issued in the in the Midwest, those people take them seriously. In, in in the tornado belt, they take them seriously. They still have death and carnage, but they take them seriously. And they, if 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 they happen to miss getting hit. They praise to God, but they take them seriously, and they get they go in, right, they go they go into their storm cellars yeah. and things like that. You're right. You are so right. Well, you know what? Sometimes it it, it, it takes this to uh, to let people learn. I don't know. It didn't you know? look. You you would have figured Sandy would have would, would have irked some response. I was just going to say that. You were, for, for gosh sake, Sandy. Now. How how many years ago was that? Nine, ten, seven, what what? Uh, uh, yeah, something like that. I think. Yeah. Come well, on. Yeah. They should have started preparing then. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. But you know, it's always it's always this way. You know, because the mayor doesn't want to accept the blame for anything. You know, he doesn't want to accept the blame for anything. Uh, you know, I I saw people this morning. I was watching the news before I came into the weather center. Saw people screaming and yelling down in New Orleans that nobody has come to help them. 
Is that the case? I don't think so. I just don't. Yeah, you know, I just don't know. I remember the, the first quote that the new governor of New York made after after that, the, the following morning of all the heavy rain was, uh, "We never knew this was coming." And I mean, everybody in broadcasting and everybody in the newspaper said, "Well, you you can't say that. You knew right. it was. You knew it was coming. You knew the potential for it was coming. You might not knew know exactly where it was going to hit, but the potential for this was coming. Everybody knew that." Uh, there's no doubt about that. You are so right. Yeah, that's, and, uh, that's what we uh, talk about. We don't talk about fact here. When, when the National Weather Service, or, I, I say this because as a radio station, we are required to care, carry those bulletins, okay? Right required. It, it, it takes over our programming, which is good. But it's no good if people don't take them seriously. That's no good at all. You know, I've heard some people say up at the lake this weekend, oh, they always have tornado watches out. Oh, they always have flood watches out. So you see, like you said, people, they hear it, one ear out the other it's until not. something happens. Yeah. Well, at least we're going to have the rest of this weekend to the weekend where we don't have anything major that looks like it's going to show up. Uh, I don't see anything tropical, and that's, that's the big thing right now. Tropical, tropical, tropical. So I don't see anything tropical, and uh, we'll keep you posted. All right, Pat, we'll check with you tomorrow. Sounds good. Take care. Bye-bye. Pat Pagano this morning at the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.